Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has been out for over a week now and I have a ton of playtime. And I just want to kind of give first impressions of what I think over the past week on how I feel about the game. Of course, I've done a lot of content. I finished all of the episode battles. I've played online and well, there's some issues with that. I will get into that later. And it's just overall, it's been pretty dang good. It's been pretty fun. Now, if you want to see more like so I know to do more videos like this where I'm just standing and I'm yapping versus just pure gameplay, which I will do more of. Do not worry. So I'll say this. Am I enjoying Spark King Zero? A hundred percent. Does it have its issues? 200% now, now, okay, that's a bit much, but yes, it does have its issues as well, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go straight into one of my main pet peeves, which is online. Okay, now they did address this and say it was going to get patched, but as of this recording, I do not want to play online whatsoever. I am a classic control player, okay, and apparently. If somebody you are fighting against does not have classic controls, I have seen this happen to me a few times. I wanted to record online ranked battles for a video, but unfortunately your controls get all wonky. They get all messed up. If you are a classic control player, whereas the other player just plays with standard controls. Essentially, all of my moves are mapped improperly and are impossible to do. I get less than half of my move list. And well, that kind of just ruins everything because, well, I can't eat my lunch as the Ardurobi. I can't do rush attacks because everything is mapped on the same button. And it's just, it's absolutely horrendous. So yeah. And if you want to must know, I'm going to talk about the bad first and then end it with the good because I just feel like that's probably the best way to go about this. So. I'm going to be a bit negative, and I understand this is probably a lot of people's favorite game of this year, could be possible game of the year for some of you guys, and that's 100% understandable, because this game does have its highs, okay? It clearly isn't just all lows, but it's just, as of now, online play is a no-go for me, unfortunately, as much as I want to, because the experiences I've had online, I've been pretty dang good. When it does work, I barely get any lag mainly because I play with four and up on the bars. I do wish this had somehow had rollback, but I don't know how that would really work on an arena fighter or anything. So I'm not going to go into netcode this, netcode that, because, well, I haven't had any issues with the netcode. Personally, myself, if you have, you could let me know down below and be like, man, netcode terrible. But I'm also plugged into an Ethernet cable, which is what I recommend if you're playing any fighting game at all. Please, please, for the love of God, use an ethernet cable that's that that's just gonna save you and your opponent a bunch of headaches that i'm just gonna straight up just if you're not using one that might be the issue now of course not everybody can use an ethernet cable of course not everybody's near the router i'm not near the router myself i use a power line so i could get into all that in a future video or like short or something if you guys want to know how to connect via ethernet without being near the modem you let me know as well i could make a short or something explaining how all that works because that's really important once again all right so moving on from online play i'll say this episode battles great absolutely beautiful again i am going to be negative at the start and i'll say this i have my gripes with the episode battles of course the what ifs and everything but but it's just you know sometimes it goes into like a like a not FMV, that's not the proper term. But it goes into like a video file, like a move file. Like it's just essentially, it, it looks super grainy sometimes. And it's like, man, why couldn't she just use in-game? Because when they use the video file, it looks so bit crushed and it's ugly. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, the game still looks like the game, but the fact that it's super grainy and whatnot, I, I just can't get over that, man. That's just so disappointing. And of course, you know, we got the, the slideshow, the cutscenes, and it just kind of just pushes through everything. In one way, I do appreciate that it just kind of slideshows its way past it. And it's like, oh yeah, because of course we know the story of Dragon Ball. 
and it's like not like the biggest deal but I do wish we just got a little bit more effort but I do understand once again there's like what like eight nine episodes there's a bunch of episode battles all right so you know we got Goku Vegeta Gohan Goku Black Viren Frieza Future Tra yeah there's, there's more than seven so there's a lot of content so of course you kind of got to streamline it but I just wish we got more iconic scenes, I suppose. There's a couple of scenes where I was like, oh man, I wish we got that. Oh man, I wish we got that. But I'm not going to be complaining like, oh, Goku didn't do a backflip there, but he did the backflip in the manga and the, like, because I'm going to be real, for the most part, they, they were pretty accurate on the, on the stuff. Of course, there were some misses, but it's just, overall, I wish there was a bit more, like, cutscenes and it wasn't, you know, how it is, slideshowy. But it is what it is, because, well, episode battle, I'm just fun. Like, the what-ifs, again, were really cool. I don't want to spoil too, too much. Of course, I have a bunch on the channel already, so if you want to spoil yourself, watch those. <laughs> I played those on stream, and uh, I'm probably going to be streaming the game more in the future. Uh, I don't know exactly when, probably when online battles start to work. Um, that's probably when I'm going to go ahead and do that myself. But it's just like, ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. World Tournament's really fun as well. I like how ring outs are back on the world tournament. Like essentially, there's a lot of content in this game and that's beautiful to see. Uh, a lot of people might see this as like a thing to gripe upon as well, uh, characters. Let me just talk about the roster and stuff. There's a ton of characters, of course. Oops, all Goku. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it, it can feel like that. And uh, well, you have to unlock the characters as well. It's also something to bring up. It's kind of like Smash Brother. No, but essentially it's nice that this game uh, you have to unlock characters. I know that sounds like, man, what? No, you like that? Yeah, this might be a little bit controversial. I do like how you have to unlock characters. It's just, again, it's very reminiscent of the olden days. You know, like, games don't do that anymore. And it's just kind of sad because it's fun just unlocking characters sometimes. It's nice to have something to unlock, something to work towards, I suppose. That's really nice. Of course, you can always just Shenron, but <laughs> still, or you go to the shop, you know, Shenron, give me Zenny, get the shop and stuff. It's just like really easy, but as you play through, you could also unlock them if you play through episode battles. So it's just like, ah, eh. like it's nice to have like a level up system, a rank up system. Um, it's only, it caps at level 20, which is cool, but it's just like, you know, I was able to get all the characters and everything pretty quickly. So it wasn't like a pain in the part, in the part. I was going to try, I was trying to say arse and butt at the same time. So I said part, don't have a cow man, <laughs> but it's just like overall, like, yeah, yeah. And the fighting system and stuff. Let, let me actually go into the meat and potatoes. I feel like, probably like, why are you just talking about the pools? Why don't you talk about the games? And I, again, this is first impressions, dome, no script. I feel like this is like really fun for me just to do it like this. Like I could just write a script to have like a very like well rehearsed video, but that's just not my style, man. That's just not my style. And I, I let's, okay, I'm sorry, I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I'm stalling. Okay, I want a long video. Okay, anyway, <laughs> it's fun. All right, it works. It feels like Budokai Tenkai H3 with a little added finesse. There's a little extra oomph. Because of course you got like the extra mechanics and it's not just straight up. I like how it's iterated, I suppose. So it's refined. <laughs> uh, that, that's supposed to be me shaking a wine glass. Uh, future Mickey edit a wine glass there so it doesn't look so sus. Anyway, yeah. It, it feels like Budokai Tenkai H3 with a little bit extra, which is really nice, you know? Like, all the combos, pretty much one-to-one. -one. I have to say that. They didn't really change too much. And that's just nice. It just feels like an old game, which is beautiful. I love it. It's nostalgic. It's for me. And any and any, any new players playing, though? Yeah, I know you guys are having trouble. And if again, if you guys need any tips or something, tell me down below in the comments. I'll try and help. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm giving this game, like, a, you know, with all the gripes and the issues and stuff, they are going to get patched. But right now, I'm going to have to give it like a 7. You know, 7. It's above average. It's above average, okay. 7 out of 10, okay. 5 means okay. 3 means bad. 3 and below is probably bad. 4 is like, eh. 5 is average. So, a 7. Good praise, okay. That's praise. Now, you can help me in the comments and say it's a 10 out of 10. 